Hello fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to today's video. This is a Bachelor in Paradise episode 9 recap. Picking up right where we left off, the episode began with a devastated Kendall sharing a tearful confession with her former boyfriend Joe who is coupled up with Serena. The tough conversation between Kendall and Joe led to Kendall self-eliminating. You were a big part of my life. I'm always going to care about you. I'm still always here for you. Poor Ivan. He has had tough luck. First, Jesenia pulling that scheme of hers with Chris, which backfired terribly on Jesenia, and then being coupled up with Kendall, who's emotionally unavailable. Paradise must suck. I was impressed with the way Joe handled that whole situation. It had to be extremely uncomfortable for him and yet he somehow managed to tell Kendall the brutal tr honest truth and then comfort her at the same time without upsetting Serena. Only a real man can do that. It was really sad watching Joe and Kendall. She obviously is not over him but I still don't understand why she would not compromise by moving to Chicago. The only reason for her to even go there would be if she was willing to relocate. Joe finally moved on and coming back to paradise was his chance for a new start. Kendall seemed to expect that Joe would be the one to give in and make sacrifices. That's not how it works. I still don't understand why Kendall went there unless somewhere deep down she thought she could convince him to come back to her and never expect him to find someone else. I am pleased to see Joe found love again. So there are mixed feelings watching this. They seem to have conquered the age difference thing. I wasn't sure if it would work for them but they seem happy. It's always hard when you see somebody that you really care about hurt a major storm almost cancelled the rest of paradise then guest host little john attempts to turn up the heat by bringing in two new guys who are ready to make up for lost time it's damar and ed from claire and tasha's season chelsea and damar natasha and ed went on a double date Meanwhile, some couples are taking it to the next level, telling each other they were falling in love, while others hit stumbling blocks. But things only get more complicated as clouds roll in and Paradise is forced to take a break from the beach. When the storm was over, Bachelor in Paradise continued to fill. The contestant returned to the beach soon after evacuating. It was clearly a scary situation for all involved. Despite the close call, the show must go on. And once everyone came back, it was time for a daytime cocktail party which was set to lead into a rose ceremony. The day brought some couples together and pulled some apart, especially Tia Booth and Blake Monar. She was in a love triangle with Blake and James Bonsal and wanted them both to show her how they felt about her in a big way so she could make her pick. I hope that Tia loses the bad boy and picks James. That would be nice to see. Leading into the rose ceremony, Ivan Hall and Damar Jackson were potentially in the most danger as they didn't have the strongest of connections. I me and like lie to my face. Dude's built like a chopstick. I'll snap him in half. Hey Ivan, quick word, bro. What's up? Quick word. Yeah. So what? Come here. Quick word. With the ladies having all the power, the men were trying to be on their best behavior. Unfortunately, we didn't get a rose ceremony this week. However, one person did go home. After talking to Joe about how unhappy she was at the beach, Kendall decided to self-eliminate. It was so sad, but definitely the right choice for her. This episode ended with a major cliffhanger. Ivan pursued Chelsea in the final minutes of the show and they even shared a kiss. Aaron saw it happen and it didn't take long for him to go confront Ivan. Things might get physical next week.
It takes very little to set Aaron off. I wonder what would happen if Chelsea gives her rose to Ivan. When Aaron is not angry, he is funny and he seems like a fun guy. But he's angry a lot. This is based on the edit he has received. He also doesn't seem to be putting much effort into getting to know the woman he connects with, Tammy, Becca, Chelsea. And then he freaks out when another guy dares to speak with them. I am over the food fetish. Can we have better dates? Thank you. What did you think of the episode? Let's chat in the comments section. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye.